Hello there fellow collectors, Citrus Aviation here with an airport update of Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. This is going to be my first update for this airport and we've got some very very exciting models and stuff to go with. I hope to grow this airport out to be a full size fledged model Atlanta. Uh, so let's get started. So first aircraft we have here is Delta Airlines Flight 200 operating on this beautiful 777-200LR from Johannesburg. There's no specific time for this update. Right behind the Delta who is landing, we have this American A321 who will be turned onto the runway. He will be heading to Phoenix Sky Harbor and he came in from Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. That's correct. The UPS MD-11 will be heading out to SDF, or Louisville. Alright, so we're going to do the international section. This is kind of a Terminal E slant Terminal F section. So first off, we have the Air Canada CRJ-900 from Toronto. Then we have the Amsterdam-bound KLM 777-300ER. During the summer, they do upgrade this flight, or one of the two flights, to a 777 and or a 747. And as it's May, we're getting the summer seasonals to come in. And so we're seeing the KLM flight getting upgraded to a 777-300. Again, they do have two daily flights, and this one we're selling it on a triple three. So right behind that, you can see the Delta 767-300. She is here from Zurich, and then he'll be hopping over on a domestic flight to San Francisco. Alrighty, the Delta A319 came from Havana, Cuba. That is a more recent flight, thanks to uh, relations with the United States and Cuba being opened up. He will be heading out to Los Cabos International Airport. We have in the center of the screen the Virgin Atlantic 747, I almost said 8340, but the 747 here on a turnaround from Manchester. The Northwest Operator's Delta 757-200 is coming in from Quito International Airport and will be heading out to San Jose, Costa Rica. Um, I have this on the Northwest aircraft because, well, there's a lot of 757 flights at Atlanta, so I need every 757 I can get for Delta. So I'll take a Northwest one, and you'll probably see this puppy in more Atlanta updates. The U.S. Airways Operator's American E-170 is here on a turnaround flight. From Reagan National. And this here, ladies and gentlemen, is Atlanta International Airport Terminal. See, this is the money shot you guys ordered right here at the Delta lineup. This lineup isn't exactly totally correct for Terminal C, as like 757 is usually part of Terminal A, and I mean United parts of Terminal T, but you know, that's kind of the way it is. But you know, this is what we got to work with. Alrighty, so next in line we have the Delta Speed of Seattle 737-900. I just realized the CE Woman aircraft. So the CE Woman 737-900 will be heading out to... I forget where now. Kansas. Alright, so trying that again. The... <laughs> <laughs> the Delta 737-900 and CE Woman livery will be heading out to Kansas City. And he came in from Portland. The KC route used to be on 757, but it was downgraded, at least I consider it downgraded to 737-900. So, now let's move on to the terminal. The very first Delta 757-200, the one without windlets closest to us, has come in from John Wayne Orange County Airport, and will be heading out to Orlando. These are two routes commonly used on 757-200s without windlets, trying to make all these routes as realistic as possible to the aircraft zone. The 752 behind it with winlets has come in from Orlando and will be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. The 757-300 came in from Los Angeles and will be heading out to San Diego. The A321 came in from Boston Logan and will be heading out to Las Vegas. The Frontier A320 Neo is taxing out to Orlando and he came in from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The, I almost called it American, the United A319 is taxiing out for departure to Chicago O'Hare and the Alaska A320 
737-900. It is going to be heading out to Seattle SeaTac. The AirTran operate at Delta Airlines 712 will be heading out to Huntsville, Alabama. And he came in from Newark. Alright, next we have six more beautiful Delta Airlines models. The CRJ-200 came in from Gainesville, Florida and will be heading out to Lafayette, Indiana. The Delta CRJ-700 came in from Cedar Rapids, Eastern Iowa International Airport. Yes, a very big and important airport. And he will be heading out to Lexington, Kentucky. The 737-800 came from Salt Lake City and will be heading to Minneapolis, St. Paul. While the Delta 737 operating on hub routes may seem a small aircraft to do that, that is kind of normal for Delta Airlines to do that. So, that's what I'm sewing. Next, we have the Delta 717-200 who came in from Chicago, Ohio. Yes, an important aircraft on the 717. And he will be heading out to Columbia, South Carolina. The 739 came in from Detroit Metro Wayne County International Airport and will be heading out to Phoenix Sky Harbor, America's friendliest airport. The Delta MD-90 came in from Pensacola and will be heading out to Cleveland. The American 737-800 is taxing out for its departure to Charlotte and he came in from DFW. The JetBlue A320 is here from Boston. The American in the US Airways livery is here from Chicago O'Hare. And the A320 came in from Charlotte and will be heading out to DFW. That's kind of a weird combo, but that's how they rock. The United 737-700 came in from Newark and will be heading out to Houston George Bus into Continental. And the United E-170 came in from Chicago O'Hare and will be heading out to Denver. Yes, they, they fly an E-170 to Denver from Atlanta. Or you, of course, just could fly the Delta 739 on that route, which is probably much nicer. The Northwest Operator Delta A320 came in from Raleigh Durham and will be heading out to Austin, Texas. Now for the southwest section, we first have a 737-800 in the current livery. We came in from Sacramento, California and we'll be heading out to Baltimore. The 700 came in from Chicago Midway and we'll be heading out to St. Louis. The Canyon Blue 737-800 came in from Fort Myers and we'll be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. The United Dash 900 is coming in from Denver and will be heading out to San Francisco. The Delta 737-900 in the Eco Skies livery has just... United! Correction! The Delta... <laughs> <laughs> no! The correction! The United 737-900 in Eco Skies livery came in from San Francisco and will be heading out to Newark. <laughs> Alrighty, so next we're doing the Runway 26 section. We have an aircraft taken off and we have a lineup of aircraft on 26 left and a 752 departing. So let's get right into this. These are 1200 models this time. The American CRJ-700 is coming in from Chicago. And he will head out to Reagan National after his turnaround. The United 737-800 is Turn on to runway 26 left for departure to Chicago here, and he came in from Houston IH. Here we have the Delta 757 200 right in line behind the United. He will be heading out to Omaha Epley Airfield. This is a once a year upgrade that Delta Airlines does. They have about five 757 flights uh, on a Sunday, it's the second Sunday in May for the Warren Buffett meetings that are held by Berkshire Hathaway in Omaha so many airlines including Delta upgrade their flights to Omaha just for that one day and this is an example of that and this beautiful puppy came in from Fort Myers 
The Delta in the 90 is taxing out for departure to Pittsburgh, and he came in from Syracuse, New York. The Delta in the 88 is taxing out for departure to Philadelphia, and he came in from Norfolk, Virginia. The final aircraft in line for departure on 26 left is this American 737-800. He came in from Chicago and is on his way out to Los Angeles. The gorgeous Delta 757-200 is departing runway 26 left for Seattle and he came in from St. Martin. Here we have a SkyWest CRJ-700 taking off on the final runway we're going to do here. Another 27 runway. Uh, this CR7 operating on the SkyWest in the United Airlines colors has come in from Denver and will be heading out to Washington Dulles. And here we have a SkyWest E170 doing a direct turnaround from Chicago here. Um, I forgot to mention the CR7 is actually a GoJet flight. My mistake there. The Southwest Century 800 is taking off soon after he gets clearance for departure to Reagan National, and he came in from Houston Hobby. Alrighty, and then next in line we have a Saturday exclusive uh, operated on ExpressJet. is the E145 to Houston. Uh, this is a Saturday exclusive flight at Atlanta. The Frontier A321 is in line for departure to Cleveland, and he came in from San Diego. The Southwest Century 7700 has come in from Boston Logan, and he's waiting for his turn to depart to Nashville. The final Southwest aircraft of the update will be heading out to Tampa, Florida, and he came in from MSP. The beautiful CR7 came in from Toledo, Ohio, and will be heading out to Mobile, Alabama. The final aircraft for this video. The Delta CRJ-200 in the colors in motion will be heading out to Asheville, North Carolina, and he came in from Charleston, West Virginia. So thank you all for watching this video of Atlanta International Airport. I do hope to grow this airport and to make an awesome airport and uh, hopefully includes the routes that you guys might want to see that Atlanta actually does. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.